Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Believe the Bat Boys Corner. To be a former Philadelphia Philly and current Ottawa champion, Philippe Mont. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Now in 2007 you were drafted by the Mariners in the first round, 11th overall. How special was it for you to get drafted that high? Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't really understand how special it was until, you know, probably a few, a few years into, uh, into that journey. Um, you know, at that time I was just trying to be the best I could be and, and you know, we, we don't have many opportunities up in Canada, like not many guys are getting drafted, so it wasn't really something that I had in mind. And when it happened, you know, it was cool, but it just seemed that uh, a lot of people were more excited than I was. So I just didn't, didn't grasp on, you know, the, the, the moment that happened. Now, 2012, you were called up to the big leagues. Can you tell us your call-up story? Um, you know, it was just after a game. I, you know, our spread was kind of, you know, I didn't like the, sp the food after the game, so I basically just showered, packed my stuff, and went home, grabbed some McDonald's, which is, you know, not a good thing for uh, for athletes, but whatever. Um, and I was just eating at home, and then my phone uh, rang, and it was like an Arizona number. And I, I just, I almost didn't pick up the phone. I just, I didn't feel really feel like talking to nobody, and I just, I just ended up picking up, and it was my manager, uh, Ryan Sandberg, and he was like, "Hey, kid." Um, you know, pack your stuff. Tomorrow you're going to the big leagues. Wow. And uh, I mean, I, I had goosebumps, and I called my family until about two in the morning. It was it was cool. Um, it was a good journey. Yeah. Now, who's your first big league strikeout, and how much of a relief was it to get the first one out of the way? Oh, uh, it came in the second game. I think it was Den Decker from okay. the Mets. Yeah. Um, that was my first punch out. Uh, the first game, I got a couple couple ground outs and a fly out. Um, but I didn't really think about that. I was just, I was more numb by, you know, the fact that it was a, you know, extremely big stadium and a lot of people and it's Philadelphia, you know, it's a, it's a really, really sporty uh, city. You know, they take, uh, they take their sport at heart and uh, I was just trying to do good. That's what I was trying to do. Right. Now after four seasons in the big leagues, you came to Indie Ball to play for Ottawa, the Ottawa champions. What were you expecting when you signed with an Indie Ball team for the first time? Uh, the first time it was, uh, it was, I felt like it was like a downgrade of, you know, what I could possibly do. But at the time, you know, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of in my own head about baseball and, and um, it's, it's a hometown team. I, I live, you know, right outside of Ottawa. So um, I was just like, all right, you know, just, just go play. You're at home. So half the, half the games, you know, I'll, I'll just be sleeping at home and, right. Uh, I'll be with the family and friends, and you know it was the first time where I got to play in front of family and friends, so it, it made it special, you know, in that way. And um, you know, but at first I, I just thought, you know, it was it wasn't going to be, you know, the baseball I played. But um, there's still there's some good hitters, there's just some there's some good players in this league that you know that've been that's got experience, so. Um, in the end, you still got to compete, and um, I made the adjustment this year for sure. Right. Now, last season you were signed by the Detroit Tigers. How much has Indie Ball helped you get that second shot? Um, I I don't know if I played any any part of you know getting another shot. I, I you know it was more so an off season move where we decided to uh, to get back on the horse and and get a tryout. You know, we we basically called uh, some scouts and some people. We're like, hey, I'm gonna throw a bullpen and. Um, and a bunch of them came out, and, and you know I threw really good. I threw hard, um, and you know that gave me the opportunity to go back. Now this season is your second season in Ottawa. How does this league compare to affiliated ball and the talent and levels and all that stuff? You know, uh, you got guys that you know the, the, they probably belong there. Uh, I think the game are pushing them out because you know there's so much analytic now that guys are not just fitting into you know what they're looking for. Um, you know, but I think, I think, you know, there's, there might be a third of each team that could probably compete at pro ball and the rest of them, you know, the younger guys and, you know, low experience and all that kind of stuff, but they're still good players. Um, you know, it's just a mix of, you know, a different, uh, different talents, you know, in each lineup. Um, but, you know, anything can happen between the lines, you know, you saw it happen last night, you know, there's just nine hole hitter hits a grand slam, you know, so it's just, uh, you know, it's just baseball. You just can't can't think. You know that you know you're above anything. You know, I think the baseball guys are just going to bring you to uh, 
to your humble status, you know, after that. But uh, um, it's still a good league to compete in. It's, it's still fun. Now, this season you're having a great year. You lead the league in strikeouts in ERA and recently broke the league strikeout record. What do you attribute your success to? Um, it's just uh, just the mindset that I, I've 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 changed, uh, you know, over the off season and over the last couple of years. Um, I used to put a lot of pressure on myself, you know, that I had to do good, and if I didn't do good, it was constant failure. Um, now I just go about my business, and you know, I basically just say the f word, you know, I just like you know, let it go, um, have fun with the game, you know. Play the game uh, and, and have fun with it while you're doing it. Um, we only get to play for so long, and then after that, you know, it's a second life, basically. So that's kind of the perspective that I put in myself, you know. Just go out, have, you know, have fun. For me, it's every five days, you know, I start. I go out there, I compete, I give them 100%. And then after that, you know, I get to take care of these guys and trying to, you know, give them some knowledge, give them some experience. and and just have fun you know it's all about winning in this league so that's that makes it even more fun so you got to win ball games as opposed to just think about yourself overall what's your experience been like here in ottawa it's been great it's been great you know we, we had a good group of guys all year long um you know it's unfortunate we you know we're battling like we are i think we, you know we, we could probably you know uh we could have been better than that but that's just that's just baseball and um you know i like ottawa i think they you know they 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 have a good thing going on, um, and you know this league is this league is good. I mean, obviously, we'd like to see a little bit, you know, a few more teams, but um, you know, it's it's always fun to uh, to compete, you know, just on the field. Last question: What advice would you give to a younger player? Um, you know, the game of baseball is all about fun. You know, if you, if you're not having fun, you're not, you know, you're not you're not in the right place. You know. Um, Every people that are successful, whether in sport or in life in general, they are, um, they're happy, you know, they, they're positive, and, you know, they, they move on from, you know, mistakes are not failures, mistakes are experience. Um, so, you know, for the younger players, you know, don't, don't think about failure, think more about, you know, learning and experience. That's how you'll move forward because if you constantly, you know, thinking that you're fail, that you fail in everything you do, you're not you're not going forward with it because you're you're just you're 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 staying back. You know, you're not you're not free. Um, you know, I didn't believe that when I was younger. I didn't believe you know the mental part was was the biggest part of the game. You know, I thought I was strong and I could throw hard. And I could, but you know, in a hundred plus season game. Um, you know, you just, you go through a lot and, you know, the mental side is, is what's going to keep you on the field and it's going to keep you healthy and it's going to keep you sane. Um, so that would be my advice for, for young guys, you know. You know, keep the game at a fun level and learn from your mistakes. Do not think they're failures. Um, they're, they're mistakes that gives you experience. Learn from it. And get better at it, and and just you know always stride forward. Don't don't ever take a step back. Always go forward. Thank you. Hey man, it's my pleasure.